Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Reminiscence. I know it's been a little bit since the last episode, and I did say that I was going to finish Help Wanted 2 before I decided to continue this, but I'll be honest, I've not really been in the mood to play VR recently. Uh, and also, the first episode of this did extremely well, and it looks like it's shipping up to be the, the first video in over a year to reach a thousand views, so seriously... Thank you for your support on that video. It really, it really inspired me to, to keep going with this series. It, that recording that first video was a lot of fun, and it's kind of, it, it's refreshing to see, this style of content, still have some sort of like, interest behind it, because, gaming in general has been becoming less popular, as of recently, at least on YouTube. For the most part, I mean, not like it's going anywhere. It's still very much massive. I just don't know if it is the thing on YouTube anymore. But yeah, anyways, today I will obviously be continuing on my house and um, maybe, wait anyway, first, maybe I'll grab some of these pumpkins. Is why not? And then maybe what I can do... You're right, do I have any redstone? No, I don't. And I suppose even if I did, I don't have... I don't have a clue where the world spawn is. I don't think it's close to here. So... Maybe... Is it turning night? Nah, I'm not dealing with that. I'm going to sleep. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna touch up on my house. I wanna get it I wanna get it a roof at least. And then I'll be able to move all this stuff. Oh god. Those were not my footsteps. Already getting our first glimpse of Hero Brine in the mod pack. Well or in this episode. That mod is not from the mod pack. I decided to add that myself. Just to to spice things up, keep me on my toes. And uh, speaking of the mod pack, by the way, uh, I think the the creator of the mod pack actually commented in my first episode, and he really liked the video, which makes me happy. I've had developers comment in my videos a few times, and that's always like that's always my the the highlight of that's always something that makes me really happy. After uploading a video, as if the, the the creator of a game comments on it, and they liked my video, that's always a very that's always a very cool thing to happen. Okay, so I'm probably just gonna keep this house very simple to begin with. In fact, I'll probably only make it around this tall. Uh, for right now, four blocks. I want to keep it simple to begin with. And then if I feel like expanding it, then I will. I could try and do a little something with the... Here, wait, let's just turn these into planks. There we go. Now we've got plenty of planks. Um, I could try and do something with the roof. I'm not very good with roofs in this game, though, is the thing... just have to see let's make some let's make some stairs make a lot of stairs because I, I always underestimate I might even just use a whole stack was this a whole stack I already don't remember bam yeah Stairs are very expensive, for no reason. Well, let me make one more. Boom, whole stack of stairs. I don't even know if that's going to be enough. Let's find out. Um, the fact I'm making most of this with the same type of wood isn't going to be the most ideal. But again, like I said, I'm not really here trying to make a masterpiece. Just trying to make something that... Doesn't look terrible. And is gonna keep me alive, pretty much. 
maybe something like this or uh yeah something like that maybe have them okay maybe have them sticking out one block forward that always looks not too bad something like that yeah okay yeah like i said i'm not i'm not great with roofs in minecraft uh that might be yeah i think that's plenty tall enough actually hmm Let's see how this works out. I, mean, I probably should have kept that there. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be very strange looking. I can tell. Oh, man! All right. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, the comments in the last video were very supportive of me continuing the game, and that was very mo that was very motivating. I'm glad that so many. I'm glad that uh, people seem to really enjoy that video. Yeah, this is not even close. Oh my god, this is not even close to enough stairs. Okay. Uh, maybe that? I might be able to finish at least one side. Or, you know, get close enough. Oh, oh, hi. He was there. I will be honest. I've... I've been playing a lot of Minecraft recently. I've been playing a bit of... Uh, I've been playing quite a bit of my... My personal mod pack. That I've been playing. With the... Uh, with the uh, Aiden. And... My brother. And I have, uh, I have the Herobrine mod installed on that also. So, I've had a lot of experience with Herobrine in Minecraft recently, so I've become pretty desensitized, but maybe... Maybe it'll hit different. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll, it'll hit different in this. Because... OG Minecraft is Herobrine's bread and butter. This is where he came from, pretty much. This is where he belongs. That's why I wanted Hugh O'Brien in the world to begin with, despite it not being something originally from the mod pack. And also, I just think it's really fun. You know, as someone who who plays a lot of horror games, mainly for YouTube, I actually, for some reason, my channel like almost became a horror channel. I realized, without me even trying to, I play a lot of horror games specifically for YouTube. And I don't know why. I don't know what it is about horror games that I like doing so much for YouTube. I don't know. Because now it seems like whenever I do something that isn't horror, it sometimes uh, doesn't do as well. At least that's what I've noticed. Maybe, maybe not. Because like I said, this first, uh, the first episode of this did extremely well. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be very janky. This is gonna be very janky, but... That is A-okay. That is A-okay. This is, the... Janky looking houses were pretty much the norm. Back in the day. I mean, this is really bad, actually. <laughs> and I didn't make any stairs. Ooh. Ow. I wonder why they removed that... That noise. They removed Steve's voice. 40 extra stairs. Let's see if that is enough. Hmm... Yeah, I might have to. Some of this is some of this house is definitely gonna have to get reworked because holy moly, this is this is mega jank. But like I said, 
I'm not trying to make a mansion here. I just want a roof over my head. Okay, let me at least get rid of this and then replace it with stairs. Or... Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Something I've also been considering is possibly making a Minecraft stream series. Ow. Oh, I forgot. I'm not even... I'm not replenishing hearts. There's no regeneration here. There we go. Oh, that looks bad. That looks bad. No, I need to... I need to do something about that. That looks bad. Right, let me just... I'm gonna sleep again. There's something so much spookier about the... the nighttime. I was talking about this last video, but there's just something about the vibe. Something about the vibe of older versions of Minecraft that is just more unnerving for whatever reason. Maybe it's because it's so, so much quieter. Hey, get that out of here. There we go. Bam, bam, no man. No, 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 no. That's not how that's supposed to be. Okay. There you go. Also, I'm not going to lie. I have no memory of getting a diamond pickaxe. When I loaded into the world and I had a diamond pickaxe, I was super confused. But actually, right as I said that, it started coming back to me. I just remembered that I found those diamonds when I went down to the deep dark. That's actually why I set up house here is because... The deep dark is right down there. And I'm really, really not prepared for that. I was just gonna, just gonna put that out there. I am not prepared to go to the deep dark. Um, but what I am prepared for, I believe, got some more glass. What I am prepared for, I believe, is... First of all, torching up my house. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, I... Oh, my... Oh, oh, my God. It's, um... It's hideous. Oh, my God. It's hideous. Okay. Let me just... Let me just fix this. I would be putting much more thought into this house if I wasn't recording because I don't know I would just have all the time I'd have all the time to think about the way it's supposed to look but yeah right here it's just it is just a mess that almost didn't sound like my footsteps for a second but I think it was pretty sure it was I don't know. It's fine, though. I have a full set of iron armor, too. Man, I did a lot more in that first episode than I remember I... It was, like, almost two weeks ago already since I recorded that, I think? No, no, that's not true. It was, like, ten days ago I recorded that. Um... Fill that in. I need to get some torches in here. Man, I do not remember torches being that much darker. Look at this. Look at how many torches I have in here. And it's still dark. Pretty sure I have it on the max brightness also. Yeah, it's all the way up and it's still this dark. Hopefully Hero Brian can't delete my torches. I know that that's something that he can do in the mod, but I it might be something you need to turn on in the config. Now that I'm remembering, they do there there are some things that Hero Brian can do that are disabled by default. Like apparently there's an option to let him crash your game, which is awful. 
not gonna let him do that, that's for sure. Like I said, it's um it's a bit jank, but it has it has a charm to it. Okay, it looks pretty bad there from the back, but let's just uh ignore that for right now. But uh yeah, I think that for now at least I think for now at least we can move in. Move all this stuff in. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Do I have enough inventory space to break the chest right now? I don't know if I do. Put this stuff here. Nice, nice. Um, actually, maybe... Because, yeah, the... There, I do have birch wood as well that I could be using, but... I've committed to oak too much to start placing new blocks. Man, when the heck's the music gonna come on? I have it on, right? Yeah, 70% volume. Come on, Minecraft. Give me some music. You don't want me to start making up my own. Or playing my own. I wonder. <gasps> there are lanterns in this? Dude! Oh, 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 I did not know that there were lanterns in this. Thank goodness, actually. Lanterns are like some of my favorite- Oh my god, he was there. Jesus. Lanterns are some of my favorite things that they've added to new Minecraft. Let me make two of those. Whoops. Oh heck yeah. Let's see. Wait. Do they emit light when you're holding them? Do they emit light when you're holding them? Wait, I can't tell. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't tell. No, they don't. Oh my god. Imagine if they did, though. That'd be crazy. This game would straight up be Amnesia. Did that. Alright. Let's see what this looks like. Place down. Right here. Wait, those look cool. Can't really put it there if I'm gonna put those there, though. I didn't really lay out this house in a way for lanterns, though. Because I wasn't, I wasn't expecting lanterns to be here. But now I want to use it. Alright, that's not too bad. I do, I do want to put some lights up there, though. The ceiling's looking kind of dork. Looking kind of dork. Let's do that. Let's just put some torches. And you never, you never see this anymore. Two torches right next to each other. Alright. Uh, I need to, I, sh I think I should, I should probably make a, a, a different chest. Should probably make more chest. Because I do not have the inventory space. Uh, put one there. I'll put all my wood stuff in here. I'll keep the sticks on me. And I might have to get the torch again. I don't know. I guess saplings are wood enough. I need to plant some of those. Mm, it's turning night again. I wonder if I should let the night play out this time. Maybe I'll let the night play out this time. Kill some mobs. For, I think, experience? I'm pretty sure experience is a thing in this. I don't see an XP bar anywhere. But I definitely am, like, hearing the sounds of leveling up occasionally. 
I keep hearing noises from outside my house, thinking that it's the game, but it's not. Do 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 do. Also, something I found out. Yes, there's copper armor and copper tools. I didn't find this out until last until I was looking up stuff uh, off camera in between episodes but there is copper armor and copper tools and apparently i think it said that they all have like an automatic here wait let me let me smell this i think that they all have like haste applied to them which if that's the case then that's pretty sick and maybe since that's different, like that's that's unique to this mod pack. Maybe I'll make that. Let's see. What? Do, how good is it compared to the iron stuff? So we got seven attack damage on the iron sword, and six point five attack damage on the copper sword. Okay. So maybe. Plus two armor, plus two, plus five, six, four. So it is almost the exact same as iron, but it ha apparently has unique effects. So how about we make some copper stuff? Because copper is so plentiful in Minecraft. Like, let's just go wild with it. I don't know what unique effects copper armor has. Copper nugget. There's all that stuff also. Yeah, look at that. Looks pretty cool. I wonder if the armor can oxidize. Probably not. That'd be cool though. If like over time the arm the the armor and tools oxidized as well, and they each had like unique, they each had unique effects. That'd be really interesting. Let's just make a full set of tools. Also, why not? Why not? And see what they do. Yeah. I'll probably keep... I'll probably keep my iron stuff on me. Okay. Because iron stuff is just so... Oh yeah, I should be using my offhand, shouldn't I? I need to remember that my offhand is down there. Oh, you're even able to use it to like place down blocks and stuff? That's... I think that's literally a thing you can do in regular Minecraft, so I don't know why I'm amazed by that. Anyway, I think I looked this up last time, but I'm... Yeah, there's no shield, is there? Which is weird, because it's a shield... It's a shield icon. But there are no shields. What in the world? There's a whole new game hidden in here. Because so far, all I've been seeing is, like, classic Minecraft. But then I go in the, the, the menu here, and there's all of this stuff. There's, like, a whole new... <laughs> what is that? There's, like, there's a whole new dimension here that I have not even... That I, I'm not even close to discovering. It's actually kind of weird. It's actually it's kind of strange that there's no shields. I don't know why that is. Let me put some more of that in there. Nice, 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 nice. Did I look up if there was an enchanting table? Enchanted golden apple, bottle of enchanting, enchanted petal, membrane. I don't wait. I don't like that that looks like a phantom membrane. They didn't put phantoms in here, did they? That would suck. Man, it kinda, it's 
kind of stinks that there's no... Alright. Let's test out the, the copper tools. Man, it is so hard to see. I should probably start a, f a farm also. A wheat farm. I can do that right now. Gave me... No, not those. Pink petals, pink petals, pink petals, pink petal. No. Here we go. Nice. Let's get at least four. Let's get at least four. Or maybe five. Um, oops. I don't want those. Just remembered, I didn't look up what the pink petals did either. I think it might be something for the composter? Is the composter in this? Yes, it is. Ooh, they have poopy. Oh, there's another cave entrance right here that I did not see. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that one's lost. I'm not going in the cave right now. Here we go. Let's make a copper hoe. And then my house is right next to water, so I don't even need to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. Achievement get. I miss when they were called achievements. I still call them achievements even today. I don't know why they changed it to advancements. That's just silly. Completely pointless change. So now we've got that going. Uh, I wonder... When that grows... I can get wheat, obviously. And then... That can get me food. And I could use that to start an animal farm as well. What I could what I could also do, I just realized, is I might need a bucket though. I can now that I have a diamond pickaxe, I need to remember that I have a diamond pickaxe and like my the door is open for me to get literally anything I want with a diamond pickaxe. Um I can get obsidian. Which means I can go to the nether already. But I don't like the nether. I don't know if I want to go to the nether. But I should. Because you kind of need to. They have... There's good stuff in the nether. And it seems like there's some crazy modded stuff in the nether as well. What was I even gonna get? How strong is this? 6.5 attack damage and 7 attack damage. What benefit is there to using a copper sword over an iron sword? Or is copper literally just an up- or iron just an upgrade? I don't know. Because if I- if I remember correctly, it did say it was haste? That's how fast the copper one is. They seem very much the same. 3.5 attack damage, 1 attack speed. Maybe it's just a durability difference and like a slightly lowered stat on some of them. I have no idea. What was that? I don't think that was me. afraid of you I know you I know you won't hurt me I know you can't hurt me oh there's the music finally only 37 minutes into this recording oh my god I was going down I was going back up to make a bucket 
I literally immediately forgot. Now I won't. Did I use all my iron? It's right here. Boom. Then, if I find any lava down here in the cave, which I do not remember if I found lava when I was down here before. Guess I'm gonna find out. I wonder, was there anything else for copper? There's copper horse armor, but you can't craft that. Waxed copper, block of copper. The block of copper looks really cool. All right, back in the depths. Let's see what I can find. I only have 16 torches though, that might be a problem. Thank you. There's a lot of bones around here. We're in the bone zone. All right, here we go. Bam. Ew. Get out of here. Oh my god, I can't see a thing. Hello? Hey! Was that my first gold? We, we know also that the copper stuff can break gold. So it really is almost interchangeable from... Iron. That's pretty good, honestly, because of, like I said, how, just how common copper is. Like, you, you, you can find copper very easily. It's like almost, wait. <gasps> That's what it was! It wasn't haste. It was not haste. It's fortune. Right? Because that, that... That coal ore dropped more than one piece of coal. That sounds broken, though. Though I guess if there if there is no enchantments or enchanting tables in this, then having certain tools that automatically have that effect would definitely be an interesting way to spice up the gameplay. Don't fall on me. I have a lot of copper already. Yeah, that's all. See what I mean? Just that one vein that was over a stack. Here we go. Okay, let's let's see this. One iron. Two iron. Two iron. That had that had two iron in that one ore. I think it's fortune. That's nutty if it is. Copper better be able to mine diamond, if that's the case. I might just always use copper then. Like, maybe the only other thing I would use it for is, like... Or, no, the only other reason I would switch to iron is maybe for the sword, because the sword does more damage on the iron. But if there's some other... If there's some other benefit that the copper sword has over the iron... Other than just damage. Then maybe I would use it. It doesn't say what type of effects that they give in game, so... I might just have to look it up. But yeah, this is a really fascinating experience. L seeing all of this, this content in what feels like original Minecraft. I know I touched up on this in the first episode, but it's just... It still stands, like... Copper, copper tools, copper armor. This just, this feels like an, it, it feels like I'm in an alternate universe whenever I'm playing this mod pack, and it's really fun. It also feels like I'm playing a dang horror game sometimes when I'm playing this mod pack. Probably partly because I made it a horror game by inv a horror game by inviting Hero Brian here. I don't know why I keep letting Hero Brian crash in my worlds. He doesn't even pay rent. 
I'm about to have so much iron. Look at that. Half a stack already. Copper tools are incredible. What is that? <gasps> Dripstone. Give me that. Now I have plenty of coal to make more torches. I am. <laughs> dripstone block. I don't really remember what you can do with the dripstone blocks. Maybe you need to have the dripstone block in order to place the dripstone? You don't. Okay, then. I don't know what's unique about the dripstone block, then. Is this just a completely different area of the cave that I missed? Okay. I'm missing a bunch of ores, but I'm purposely just scouting around and trying to light as much of the area as possible. So far... What was that? Oh, it's a zombie. Oh! <laughs> um... Hey, buddy. Maybe the dripstone only drips when it's on a dripstone block. That is a possibility. That's all my torches already. I'll have to make more, probably. I'm gonna grab some of these, because I know that there is some- there is some interesting stuff that you can do with dripstone. Like, I saw- I saw somebody make a- I saw somebody make a- like a lava farm with it. I don't think- I don't think I need more copper right now. I have plenty. PLENTY! Oh, 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 let's make half a stack of copper. I mean, torches. Literally, not even close to copper. What am I talking about? Oh my god. This cave never ends. Oh my god, look at all that iron! I have almost a stack already. That is so nice. Forty-seven. And counting. You can never, ever have enough iron. Or coal, for that matter. And look at that. Officially hit a stack of iron, uh, raw iron. Absolutely amazing. I don't want to get too distracted just walking around mining, though. Because I do want to find, I do want to find a lava, a lava pit somewhere, anywhere. I did realize, I don't think... I do not think I'm going the right way to the to the deep dark. All right, who said that? Where are you? Ow! Did you just fall from the ceiling? Get out of here! I wonder though, because because there's no enchanting table, what purpose is there even to getting lapis? And if this has the classic lapis block texture, yeah, that looks that looks hideous. But that, on the other hand, lapis bricks, that looks sick. Okay, so you're able to use lapis for smithing. Whatever that is. Okay, I you dig into the you dig into that for literally four seconds and you're you're finding like all rituals, huh? I feel bad walking past this iron, but I already have so much, and I'm trying to make progress here. Okay, I can't I can't mine everything I see. I could and I probably should, but I'm trying to find lava. This is just gonna go nowhere, is it? Yep. I don't have a single clue where I'm going. 
I am covering a lot of ground, at least. I'm back here. I don't know if I'm gonna find lava here. Wait, no, I totally am. Oh, hi. Oh, and your bro? Yeah. Wouldn't want to breed a... I remember now. There was a massive lava pit where the deep dark was. So I, I need to find... Well, first of all, I need to go back to the surface so I can start over. Because I have no idea where I'm going. Not here. I really hope I'm not lost in this cave. I swear I'm god awful at navigating in in Minecraft. <clears throat> wait, 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 maybe this is the way. Which way did I go? Which way did I go to get to the deep dark? Was it this way? It can't be. It's not even lit up. Where am I right now? What? What? Oh, this is where I found all that copper that I apparently didn't pick up. Hello? Am I... What? Am I going in circles? Everything looks the same. Hello? This looks like sunlight. Except it's... <laughs> Literally not. No? That's not right. Come on, bro. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I... I don't remember which way I went to go to the deep dark. It's been so long now. Um, here, I'm gonna put some of this stuff away in my chest and then maybe I'll... I'll go for one more dip in the cave to see if I can find the deep dark where that big old lava pit was. I remember it being pretty easy to get there. At least it was very easy and pretty quick to get back to the surface from the deep dark. So it can't be, it can't be that much. <clears throat> I don't have any torches on me, but if I go the right way, then I shouldn't need any. Because obviously I lit the way when I was going back. Hey. If an area isn't lit up, then that would that would be how I know if I'm going the wrong way. I really shouldn't be putting torches everywhere I go now that I think about it. Because now there isn't really any clear path. If there are torches everywhere. Like this. This way goes nowhere, so I should just I should just uh I should just break the torches. In fact I might have already done that. I might have already gone that way and broke the torches on my way back. This goes nowhere. Here we go, this looks familiar. That's not lit up, so I probably have no reason to go over there. This looks different, this looks different, this looks familiar. This has to be the path to the deep dark. Yeah, t no way it's not. No way it's not. Yep, this has gotta be it. Here we go. Yeah, see, that was super quick and easy. Here we are. Oh, yep. Yep, there it is. I remember. Okay. You're crazy if you think I'm going here yet. Though my curiosity is killing me. It's it's right there. There's a skulk sensor. There's one, There's one right there. Yippee! Obsidian, baby. I I seriously doubt that that breaks obsidian. 
What the fuck? What the hell? I was not expecting that to break so fast. What the heck? Since when? I wish it broke that fast. Look at that. Let's sink. Look at how fast this thing mines. Does the diamond... Does the diamond pickaxe have like a... A natural efficiency enchantments to it? That'd be pretty sick if it did. It definitely seems to. Thank God for that. I always found it completely unnecessary how slow the process of mining obsidian was. So this, this just makes it so much better. So this means that I can make the nether portal right now if I wanted to. And I think I will. I think that'll be a good cap off point for the episode is building the nether portal. Uh, since I'm down here, I may as well should just mine as much as I can. I'll get 20. I'll get 20. Alright, I think that is... That is good. I could mine around here also if I want to look for more diamonds, because... I only had just enough to make that... That this pickaxe. You know, Hero Brian has been a bit of a. You know, Hero Brian's been a bit shy this episode. I haven't seen him that that often. I assure you, though, that it we haven't seen the last of him. That is for sure. I always have him in the back of my mind, even when I'm doing things. I just always have this this thought that he can literally show up at any moment, at any time, anywhere. And that's a bit of a spooky thought. Nope. Okay, so I'm, if I'm going to make a portal, I first need a flint and steel. Which is... Nope, that's shears. I need flint. Literally in the name, flint and steel. There's one. There's two. Perfect. Bam. Don't want to have that in my hand right next to my wood house. Um, so... I would usually put it in a much more interesting place than just out in the open. In the middle of the yard. But... Wait, anyway, I need... I need... I need some more blocks for the corners. How about, actually... I think this would look pretty cool. How about some how about some copper blocks? I literally never use copper blocks ever. And I I mine copper because I tell myself all the time that I'm going to use copper because I really like the look of copper. But then I just don't. So how about we do that? I think I already messed up the the shape of this. Somehow I mess up the shape of the portal every time. I can't remember if it's three blocks or two blocks wide. Oh my god, dude. I just remembered the Aether is in this mod pack. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do that. 
I just remember that because I have the water bucket in my inventory. 100% gonna have to do that soon. In fact, I kind of want to do that instead of the nether because, like I said, I don't like the nether. <laughs> but it's a necessary evil, literally. Bo Boom. It's a little tall, I think. Yeah, I think it's a little... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a little too tall, but that's okay. I remember you needed to be a lot more specific with the shape of the portal, but then they made it to where you can make a lot more varieties of to the shape. You know, before we... Before we end this episode, should I hop in? Should I just should I just go in, you know, take a take a quick peek and see what it looks like on the other side? Oh, the classic entering the nether screen. Oh, dude. Hello? Is it raining? No. No, no, it's not. Holy crap, it is dark. Oh my god. And yeah, there's the... Yeah, there it is. There's that, that, that OG netherrack texture. I did not miss you, but... This looks sick. Oh, wait, I forgot. There, I think... Are piglins here? Yeah, there is. I can't be here. I need gold armor. But dude, that actually looks kind of sick. All right, that was that was our taste of the Nether. That's what it looks like. That will be for another day, though. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of the Minecraft Reminiscence Mod Pack, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, hey, man. Uh, what you doing? See ya. Thanks for interrupting me. Anyways, as I was saying, if you enjoyed this episode of the Minecraft Reminiscence Pod... It's not a podcast. I'm not doing a podcast right now, but I could. I don't know. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Expect more episodes of this soon. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.